Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I'm reviewing a pen from Gravitas uh, Pens. This is uh, Ben Walsh Designs uh, Pen Company. He designs and gets these pens manufactured. He spends a lot of time and a lot of effort developing the pens uh, and He's become a bit of a machine with these and it's kind of great. Um, this is how the pen comes packaged. This pen that I'm reviewing today is the uh, the Gravitas model and this is the Skittles version uh, in the brushed finish, which we will look at in just a bit. But this is how the pen comes packaged in a custom design made um, tube. Um, and the pen's not in here right now, but um, it's a really nice, simple packaging, simple tube. But what Ben has done is you can't see anything, but actually what, obviously it's empty. Um, but there's a really lovely sort of fruity scent with this. Uh, in fact, I when I opened the package, not even the tube, when I opened the package this came in, I could smell it. And then when I opened the tube and it's very sweet, it smells like candy. Uh, and that's the idea with uh, its name's sake, I suppose. Um, as really nice, it's sort of like these little these little details that are are fun about uh, Ben Walsh Design and Gravitas pens. So let's look at the pen. Here it is. It's pretty beautiful. Now I uh, reviewed a prototype of the Gravitas model um, last year, and I really enjoyed the pen. Certain changes were made. He removed these threads so the pen does not post. Um, and he uh, made a couple of changes to the threading system and also these came with a Bok nib and now they come with a Yovo nib. He also added the logo there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the parts features of the pen. Uh, I am then going to do a writing sample, show some specs, all that sort of stuff. Uh, and then we will do a pros and cons. Let's start at the top of the pen. Now, on the top here and on the bottom of the pen, there are these uh, small balls built in to the uh, into the end of the pen. They are a protective finial and end. Uh, in case you drop the pen, they uh, are made from silicone nitride and uh, will protect the pen if the pen is dropped on either of those uh, ends. The pen then sort of swells out um, and like these conical ends and then basically is cylindrical through the cap band there right down uh, to where it sort of tapers away there at the end. The threads to uncap this pen um, I should say also that's the only branding on the pen, which um, I really like about Ben Walsh design is the fact that the branding is so minimal uh, and there's obviously no step down between the uh, cap and the barrel. Um, it comes, they are triple start threads which open in just over one turn uh, and they reveal a sort of a gradiated step down there uh, to the from the barrel to the section and sort of onto smooth uh, threads there. They're not sharp at all. The uh, section tapers down and then flares out at the end there and then does reveal this uh, Yovo, unbranded Yovo nib. Um, one thing I would love to see eventually is Ben put his logo on the face of the nib there. I think it would look great. Um, so that's just something to think about. Uh, this is an extra fine. It's a steel extra fine number six Yovo nib with a plastic feed. Uh, standard number six and uh, Ben provides them with extra fine, fine, medium and broad nibs. He also provides with it a Schmidt K5 converter uh, as well as six uh, ink cartridges uh, with standard international cartridges which this pen takes. These threads onto the ba uh, body of the pen are, are smooth. There are a lot of them. Obviously you can't, um, you can't eye drop of this pen because it is a metal pen. In fact, it is uh, made from 304 stainless steel uh, and the finish is, PV is a PVD rainbow finish uh, of titanium nitrate uh, there, which uh, is, you know, fairly durable uh, and also provides a beautiful effect of that sort of, occasionally you can sort of get it to line up with some of the colors and uh, get these beautiful purples and greens, the full color spectrum of the rainbow and depending on what angle you have it on, what the light is, the pen will look different every single time, uh, which is a really lovely feature. But like that purple blue gradient there that we've just managed to capture there, absolutely stunning. 
Let's now do some size compar uh, comparisons here. Uh, and I've just brought uh, the absolute standard size comparison tool, the Lamy Safari. So you can see it's actually a little bit longer when it is posted than a Lamy Safari. Uh, and I can tell you it weighs a considerable amount more as well. The Gravitas doesn't post. Um, so it has a, a set sort of writing length. It will roll away. And so next to an uncapped Lamy Safari, you can see it just is a tiny bit longer, but there is a considerable bit, amount more girth to the pen. And of course, a Lamy Safari does post, which then gives the option for a much longer pen. But you don't need a terribly much longer pen uh, than this because it is a good size pen in your hand uh, and there's no sort of sharp edges or anything to sort of worry about. When you hold the pen, you, there's, the section is actually quite long. It's about 28 millimeters. So you actually got quite a decent length of section there uh, to, you know, to hold on. And also this, uh, because of that sort of um, angled step down and the threads not being particularly sharp, um, if you wanted to hold it further back, you could, but with a number six nib and a decent length section, you've got a very ergonomic pen in the hand. The pen does weigh quite a lot. I'll cover the weight first. So the pen weighs 74 grams. So it's a heavy, heavy pen. As I said, it doesn't post and 25 grams of the pen are in the cap here. So you're left with around just under 50 grams of pen in your hand when you are writing, which is significant. It's a significant weight pen and you do feel that in your hand, but it's not so heavy to be fatiguing um, because what I've found is that um, while the balance of the pen is not leading down necessarily to the nib uh, because there is a lot of weight up here in the pen, um, but because the pen sits generously and comfortably on the webbing of your hand, it is very supported. So you don't feel it as a particularly heavy pen um, in your hand. It's not sort of pushing back. It's not sort of pulling down too much. Um, in a way, that weight is a good thing that the pen doesn't post because uh, that would become quite a heavy pen and a very, very back weighted pen. The size specs for the uh, Gravitas Skittles uh, is uh, 147 millimeters when it is posted. So as I said, it's a good length pen. Uh, unposted, it is uh, uncapped, sorry, it is uh, 134 millimeters. Uh, good size. Yeah, it's a good size pen in your hand. I don't think, like, I can't imagine anyone that being too short for anyone, and it's certainly not sort of too long like a wand or anything like that. And as I said, it doesn't post, so you don't need to worry about that. The section, as I said, is about 28 millimeters long, and the widest point here is uh, 12 millimeters, and the and the uh, the taper down isn't so fast uh, that you f don't feel like that it's t you know sort of sliding away from you. It's a it's a good it's got a good size section on it. Let's talk about the price of this pen. This particular version of the Gravitas retails on Ben Walsh. Uh, on his website, which is Gravitas Pens, for 75 euro, which dollar for dollar conversion, as I feel in this video, we're talking about 100 and 117, 118 Australian dollars, uh, or around the 90 US dollar mark. Uh, that doesn't include postage and stuff like that. That is just the price of the pen, um, which I think is fair. You are getting a beautifully well machined pen. It is, you know, detailed machining. It is beautifully done. The finish is great. Um, it comes with a good nib with a converter, all those sorts of things. You, you know, unique packaging. It's a one man design team who comes up with these pens from start to finish. And a lot of research has gone into them. When he first built the, uh, the Gravitas model here for the prototype, he spoke to so many people involved in the pen community about everything down to, you know, the packaging and the nibs. And he spent a lot of time and a lot of money prototyping and researching to get the best possible pen uh, for his taste and for pen lovers. Time for a writing sample now with the uh, Gravitas Pen Skittle, Skittles Fountain Pen. Uh, so we have Gravitas Pens.
Skittles. As I said, this is designed by Ben Walsh. And it has a steel Yovo extra fine nib in it. And it is quite a nice extra fine nib as well and fine, and, and fine for that. Ben does test and check and sort of, you know, make sure all his nibs are um, as perfect as possible when they leave, uh, you know, when he packages them up uh, for, for people. The ink I have in this today is a Monteverde ink. Uh, from the Sweet Life series, and it is iced cookie. It's kind of like a turquoise, tealy sort of colour. I thought it kind of matched some of the blues and stuff, blues and greens sort of in this pen quite nicely. And being Montevideo, we know how the ink performs. They perform very, very well, and this is one of my favourites from that Sweet Life series. So let's see the pen uh, writing now. Now, we all know that microphones are very sensitive to that frequency uh, of the scratch of a pen. So it's not scratchy. There is feedback on this nib. It is an extra fine. And being a left-handed writer, of course, I'm more um, attuned to that sort of uh, feedback because we push the pen more um, across the page than a right-handed writer who would, um, you know, pull the pen across the page a bit more. This is an extra fine. So it is going to um, have a bit more feedback than abroad. Of course, there's less tipping on the page, but this writes smoothly, it writes reliably. Um, there's no flow issues. I haven't noticed anything with this pen. I've written with it quite a lot. It's a, it's a rigid nib. Um, you can push it down to get more ink out. Um, but it's not a flex nib. Reverse writing is not ideal with this pen. It dries out very quickly. Uh, and, you know, in terms of wetness, I actually think for an extra fine, that's pretty good. It's not a dry pen at all. Um, it, there is feedback. It is an extra fine. It writes like an extra fine. Uh, but I wouldn't say it's scratchy. I would just say that uh, it has... Yeah, a bit of feedback, and it's pl it's not unpleasant, um, but it's not sort of, uh, you know, cutting into the page or anything like that. So what are my pros and cons for uh, the Gravitas Skittles fountain pen? I'll start with the cons. Firstly, there is no clip on this pen, so the pen will roll. It is a robust pen, so if it fell, particularly with these, you know, like ball, uh, you know, balls in the in the cap and the finial, uh, we are less likely to get damage to the pen, but it will roll. It's a round pen with no clip. Um, also, the only other thing I have noticed is that this particular style of finish, uh, while it's not it's not a flame treatment, um, like, you know, the fire blue, Kaveco, things like that, so it's a finish on the pen, um, there are little, I don't know how well they're going to come up on the camera, but there are tiny, like, micro scratches. Um, I'll try and find some uh, in the section. I think you might just maybe be able to make one out. They're tiny, a little bit just there might come up. Um, they're tiny, but that's the threads uh, in the cap as if they catch on the section um, It's metal on metal and this is a finish on top of the metal. I believe um, You know looking into the into the cap, you know It's a plain stainless steel cap and it's just been treated with this on the air on, on the outside um, So you will get little scuff marks and things I think it's fairly robust like it's taking metal on metal to make those little scratches and I have been carrying this pen um, you know for a couple of weeks and I've written it dry once and you know onto the second fill and that sort of stuff so you know we are talking about a pen that has had some use uh, and it's still looking you know pretty pretty darn good and even those scratches on the section there they're so small that you actually have to really look to find them um, I really like the finish you know myself so you know I don't mind those little scratches they're not noticeable enough now for the pros of the pen 
I mentioned the branding. That's the only branding on the pen is his little arrow logo there, um, which to me looks a bit like a convict arrow. Uh, growing up in Hobart in Tasmania, you find like lots of bricks with the convict arrow in them because they were all you know from the old buildings. Um, and so it, I think it's nice. And I think um, not having tons of branding make, gives this a nice minimalist, very sleek uh, finish. For me, I like the weight of the pen I, because I can feel it and I always know it's there. Uh, and as I said, writing with it is comfortable because the weight is well supported in the hand. If you are prone to not enjoying heavy pens, this will not be a pen for you. Straight up will not be a pen for you. It is a heavy pen. Uh, but for me, that is a pro. Um, another pro is the length of the section because it never makes you need to sit back on that step down. You've always got a lot of section there to hold, and even if you choke down on the end of it, you're still far enough away from the edge of the page, given the fact that it is a number six nib. I like the price point this pen falls in. Um, at 75 euro, or you know, around the 117, 118 Australian dollar mark, for a well-machined metal pen uh, with a good nib and all of that, I think it is in a good price point. I said when I reviewed uh, the original Gravitas pen that I really liked the general design, that sort of torpedoed sort of design of the pen, and I stick with that. I think it is a very, I really like the shape and I like you know the step down onto the section and those sorts of elements of this pen. I also really like the finish. Now I understand also that the finish will not be for everybody. There are a lot of people who will prefer a plain black pen or a plain coloured pen uh, or something a little subtler, perhaps, than this rainbow uh, finish. And Ben caters to that as well, as well as having sort of micro uh, textured and engraved designs as well. So go to Gravitas Pens. I'll put a link to it in the comment, uh, in the description of this video. Check it out because there is a large range of finishes of this pen model. Uh, I think this is at the moment his like signature model and he does a lot of design versions of it. But I like the finish. I like that it looks different in every light, that on every angle it looks like slightly different. It's a really unique pen and a unique design. And uh, I think it, it it stands out for me in my collection. If you've watched my top five lists and things like that, you'll see that there are a lot, a lot of black and gray pens, and I love those. So occasionally when a pen looks like this and isn't cheap and plasticky, I really, really enjoy it. And then the last pro, it has a Yovo number six nib. And what does that mean? You can put any number six nib you want in there, or almost any number six nib, any Yovo nib. They come with a huge range. You can buy them from Goulet Pens, you can buy them from Anderson Pens, you can buy them from a lot of manufacturer, a lot of pen brands. You could get an Edison nib or a Franklin Christoph nib and put it in this pen if that's what you wanted with some of those custom grinds and things like that. This is an extra fine, as I said, it comes extra fine through to broad from Gravitas, as, but because it is a Yovo nib, your possibilities of what you could put in this pen um, are quite wide. So this was the Gravitas uh, Pen's Skittles fountain pen in the brushed finish. Um, Thank you for watching. Thank you so much to Ben Walsh from Ben Walsh Design and Gravitas Pens for sending this pen out to me for review. Um, I hope this video has been interesting and useful. Um, if it is, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, hit the notifications button, um, and uh, get in touch with me using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at the underscore offstage underscore me, or you can contact me on any of my videos here, or drop me an email which is listed down below. Um, if you've got products you think I should be looking at, get in touch. If there is a way you'd like to support the channel, uh, like Ben did by sending out these uh, pens for review, um, I would really like to hear from you. But thank you for watching. Enjoy your pens. Enjoy writing. And I'll talk to you soon.